Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve this problem. Find all numbers disappeared in an array. Given an array of integers where 1 is less than or equal to s of i, and s of i is less than or equal to n, n equals the size of the array, some elements appear twice and others appear once. Find all the elements of the array from 1 to n inclusive that do not appear in this array. Could you do it without extra space and in big of n runtime? You may assume the return list does not count as extra space. So, example, this is the array, this is the input, and the two numbers that do not appear in this array are 5 and 6. You can see that 3 and th 3 appears twice, here and here, so 5 and 6 do not appear there. Also 2 appears twice. So we have to return those two numbers that do not appear here. So there are several ways to solve this problem. In this video I'll teach you a way to solve this problem taking advantage of the property that all the elements in the array are from 1 to n and the indices of, of the array are from, are from 0 to n minus 1. So what we can do is that we can do this in two passes. The first pass we mark every element by using the index of that element. So because every element is from 1 to n, we can mark um, every time the element appears by using the index, which is the number minus 1 in the array. So when we see a number, for example, 4, we find this number minus 1, 4 minus 1 is 3, so we use index 3 to mark this number. And we can add n where n is the total length of the array to that position every time we see this number. So the second pass we just go again from left to right and we check and if a number is less than or equal to n that means that that number was not present in the array. So as you can see here this is the input n equals 8 and what we do is that we calculate the accumul accumulated sum so we calculate the accumulated sum adding n every time we see the number and the second time we check we check this and we see that these two numbers are less than or equal to n and those are the two numbers that are missing so the number at, at index 4 the, the number at index 4 and the number at index 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 so I return 4 plus 1 which is 5 and 5 plus 1 which is 6. So without further ado I'm going to show you how to write the code. First I'm going to have a list of integer the final result gets a value of new array list then I will have integer n gets a value of nums that length then 4 integer i gets a value of 0 i is less than n plus plus i I will say nums so num sub i minus 1 modulo n plus equals n. So I have to use the modulo operator uh, because this index might be out of bounds. For instance, if I get a number and the number uh, when I subtract 1 is out of bounds, then I need to do the modulo so I can get the number within the array. And then for that index, I'm using that index to mark um, the number, I add, I add n to that number. Then the second pass, for integer i is equal to 0, i is less than n plus plus i, I check if num sub i is less than or equal to n, I can say resolve that add i plus 1. I say i plus 1 because I'm using the index which is from 0 to n minus 1 to mark the numbers from 1 to n. So I have to add 1 to i. And then I return the final result. I will run the code. Alright, I will submit the solution. Okay, so this is working perfectly. 
the time complexity of the solution is big O of n, where n is the length of the array, and the space complexity is big O of 1. If you like this video, please press the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and see you next time.